Good morning. Sam and I are back to bring you some motivation to continue your diet and to get out and exercise. Say hi, Sam. He's more interested in what's going on up ahead. There's a chicken walking across the road. We should ask him why he's crossing the road. <laughs> hey, chicken, why are you crossing the road? He didn't say nothing. And it is one chilly Sunday morning. I have got to invest in a track suit or something. I'm not used to getting out and exercising every morning. And now I'm realizing I've got to get some more gear. <laughs> These uh, summer clothes are just not cutting it for morning walking anymore while it's getting chilly like this. It'll probably be warm again tomorrow though. You never know with the weather around here. One day it's cold in the morning, the next day it's hot. <clears throat> but that's, the, that's what happens when you live way down south. Speaking of which, uh, needing some new clothes for this, I ordered some new shoes the other day and I'm hoping I got the right ones. I ordered some New Balance walking shoes that are supposed to help out because the tips of my big toes have been rubbed raw in these shoes that I've had, uh, that I bought la earlier this year, actually. I have just about slap wore these shoes out there. Uh, where are these shoes? Skechers, Skechers. And uh, they were supposed to have something similar to the New Balance, which is what I was shopping for when I went and bought these Skechers. I should have just went ahead and bought the New Balance to begin with, but the ones I saw in the store, I didn't like so much. When I was at my brother-in-law's this weekend, he had a pair that fit my feet so perfect. I said, well, this is what I gotta get. So I ordered some just like the ones he had and they'll be on the way. But you know, speaking of new clothes, Halloween is coming up. And one of the things that I used to like to do, I loved to do when I was younger, was participate in the, the Halloween dress up stuff. I would uh, I would go all out, all out. I'll see if I can't find some pictures, but here's a picture of when I was, uh, about 18, dressed as Gene Simmons. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to dig up any other ones. I know I had one somewhere where I went as a zombie one year and freaked everybody out. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, one of the things that I used to notice as I was getting older and heavier is that uh, there were fewer and fewer pop culture icons that I could go dressed as and be comfortable i mean i didn't i didn't usually pick based on body style but one year i back in 99 i dressed as darth maul and i don't know if i have any pictures of that still but if i do i'll show it here but i sure did not look like darth maul i look like dark darth maul if he ate darth maul <laughs> uh not, not the most appealing way to want to dress up. And when you want to do Halloween and you've got uh, body issues, it, uh, it can be a little disheartening when you can't dress as whatever character struck your fancy as being the thing you wanted to do that year. Well, this year, you know, we've been watching a lot of DVDs lately because we haven't had any internet at home. And I got busted out one of my favorite ones a few weeks back. And that's Big Trouble in Little China. And my wife suggested that I should go as Jack Burton this year. I might have worked a little better when I had longer hair, so I had to order a, a wig for that. We'll see how that goes. It hasn't come in yet. And I ordered the t-shirt already. You've actually seen me wear it in one of these videos. I got some jeans like his. I just ordered the boots and the, the whatever type of gun it was he had in the movie. And something else. Oh, yeah, I had to get the kimono for Katie because she's going to go as Gracie Law wearing the uh, the bride costume when she was getting forcibly married to Lopan. It's, uh, for me, that is uh, something I can barely even consider uh, as a reality yet is that I might have the body to pull off going as Jack Burton. I would never have been able to do that before lion diet and uh it's exciting it's exciting to think that there's more 
opportunity to do something that I used to love to do because most of the dress up type of situations involve somebody with a body style that wasn't the body style I had before. I know that people who haven't had to struggle with weight issues can't really relate to this, but you're really limited in what you can do as far as being able to go out dressed up for Halloween when uh, you've got that extra weight on. Let's just say it's, it's difficult to find a character that you would want to dress as for Halloween when your body doesn't fit the shape of anything that's the hero in the story. And then what am I gonna do? Go as Curly from the Three Stooges or something? Um, it's just an exciting prospect to be able to dress up this year. And I'm gonna have to shave my beard and go all out with it. She's gonna, she's got the kimono coming and she's gonna do the makeup. We're gonna do it without the headdress. It'll be the scene after we're gonna dress as the scene after he rescues her and gives her a big kiss and then I'll have the lipstick on my lips <laughs> from kissing Gracie and we'll see how that goes. But uh, this is another interesting side effect of having done lion diet is that I, can I feel like I can fully participate in Halloween this year. Something I've always enjoyed doing from my theater background and uh, my desire to do performing arts and things like that it's going to be fun and uh i hope uh i hope some people get it they may not even <laughs> a lot of people may not even get the reference because it's a fairly obscure movie now but i'm sure there's probably a lot of fans out there that are going to pick it up right away and uh, i'll be sure to get some good video or pictures of that for you when the time comes I hope you enjoy it and I hope I can pull it off. I hope it doesn't look uh, totally ridiculous. I've seen some pictures of people who do costumes like this and a lot of times I'm like, you thought that looked like him? Because <laughs> I remember seeing somebody one year that went dressed as the predator and oh my gosh, I mean, he looked like he got the, the costume from the movie set. I mean, hey, there wasn't an inch of his body that wasn't latex covered or having some type of, like he, even his eyes were, he had the uh, contact lenses that looked like the predator's eyes. I mean, nothing on him was just him. It was all that costume. And I think that's when it gets really fun, when you go all out and you can re recreate that character and just, and it's a good time. I've always enjoyed Halloween for that little dress up bit doesn't have to be something scary just has to be something cool well anyway it's motivating to me to realize that I can actually possibly pull something like that off now we'll see how it goes and I hope it's motivating to you if you've had a love for Halloween like I have for the dress up aspect or you like getting into cosplay or something like that and you've had a hard time being able to do the character you wanted to do because your body wasn't the shape that you needed it to be to pull off the costume. This could be a this could be the beginning of something really fun for you. Now I just got to be sure to resist any temptation to partake in the candy part of Halloween. I don't think that's going to be as big of an issue as I thought it would be. One of the reasons why is I have carnivore crisps. Last night I was having some cravings to want to participate in what my wife's family was doing. They all came to visit us. So we've got folks over there eating all kind of things that are not on my diet and having a good time. So afterward I went and grabbed myself a bag of carnivore crisps and just sat down in my room and enjoyed the heck out of them because uh, the cravings I had resisted all afternoon with them were taking me over that night. Like some sort of psychological nonsense that was trying to tell my brain, you can do that too, you can have some. No, I don't wanna have some, but I wanna satisfy this craving. So a nice bag of ribeye carnivore crisps sure did the trick. And you can order your own carnivore crisps by going to carnivorecrisps.com and ordering using my coupon code DANTE, D-A-N-T-E, and you can get 10% off your order. 
go there now. You want to have some around for when those cravings come because they, they can keep you from making a mistake. I love them just for that purpose to have around for when I need something to keep me from getting off my diet. They're wonderful. They're made from grass fed, grass finished beef and they only use water and Redmond salt. The only salt I buy to make their three ingredients. You can't go wrong. I find it somewhat hard to talk about some now that I've lost the weight because I feel like I'm, even by talking about it, there's some sort of fat shaming going on, but that's not what I'm doing at all because this is a new experience for me. This is something I would like for you if you've been dealing with what I dealt with most of my life too, where you just didn't feel like you had the body to do certain things, to be able to do those things because you've changed the way you eat and it's changed the way you think and it's changed the way you feel and you can participate in things that you didn't participate in before. It's exciting. And uh, I just wanna continue to motivate you to pursue that life you wanna live, even when it comes to just having a good time on Halloween. Well, that's it for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?